Hello there! Welcome back! In this video, we are going to nourish your minds with useful information to improve your mathematical skills. Be ready with your paper and pen as we explore the world of general mathematics, specifically talking about exponential functions, equations, and inequalities. At the end of the session, you are expected to define exponential expressions and distinguish exponential functions, equations, and inequalities. So let's begin with a review. Let's define exponential expressions. It is a mathematical expression in the form a times b raised to the power of x minus c plus d where a b c and d are elements of real numbers and b must be greater than zero and not equal to one i repeat b is greater than zero and b must not be equal to one based on this definition let's check if we can identify if the given is an exponential expression or not ready let's see let's have the first one 3 raised to the power of x minus 5. What do you think? Is this an exponential expression or not? Let's reveal. This is an example of an exponential expression. Good job! Let's have the second one. How about 2x raised to the power of negative 3? Take your time. And the answer is, this is not an exponential expression because the variable x here is not found as the exponent of our base b. Let's continue. How about the next one? 36 over 49 raised to the power of x plus 2. Is this an exponential expression or not? This is an example of an exponential expression. Great job! Let's have another one. 3 raised to the power of x plus 2. What do you think? Well, the answer for this is... Well, this is an example of an exponential expression. How about this item? Quantity of 5 plus x squared. What do you think? And this one is not an exponential expression because here in your exponent of the base b where you have x minus c, you don't have a variable x here or any variable in this case. It doesn't qualify to be an exponential expression. Were you able to get it? Now let's move on. Let's focus our attention to the main highlight of this session, which is about exponential functions, exponential equations, and exponential inequalities. So let's look at this table. In the first column, you have exponential function. Second, at the center, that is exponential equation. And in the last column, you'll see there exponential inequality. In the next row, we are going to state there the definition, and in the last row, we are going to show some examples. Let's start with the exponential function. It's defined as a function of this form. You have there f of x is equal to b raised to the power of x, where your base b is greater than 0 and not equal to 1. An example for that is this one f of x is equal to 2.5 raised to the power of x. You can also write it in this form. You have y is equal to 2.5 raised to the power of x. 2.5 here is your base b, and it's greater than 0. That's a check, and it's not equal to 1, so also a check. Let's move on to the exponential equation. It's defined as an equation involving exponential expressions. Earlier, we already defined exponential expressions, so we can easily identify as well exponential equation. 
So the last one here is exponential inequality. It's defined as an inequality involving exponential expressions. You can easily spot an exponential inequality simply because of the presence of its inequality symbol in the C of the exponential expressions. What I mean by that is you'll have this. This is an example. We have 5 raised to the power of 2x, which is an exponential expression, minus another exponential expression, which is 5 raised to the power of x minus 2, you will also see here the inequality symbol greater than or equal to zero. So this is an example for the exponential inequality. This would now show the summary of the three important terms for this session. To check your understanding about that, let's scrutinize these items being flashed on the screen and identify if it's an exponential function, an exponential equation, or an exponential inequality. I know you've got this. Let's start with this one. 125 is less than or equal to 5 raised to the power of x plus 4. Well, this is an example of what do you think? Well, this is an exponential inequality because of the presence of the inequality symbols and it consists of exponential expressions. Second one, 5x squared. What do you think? This is an example of... Well, that's a tricky question. This is none of these. So this doesn't qualify to be an exponential function, an exponential equation, exponential inequality, because the variable x is not found as an exponent of a given base. Okay, so let's move on. How about this item? f of x is equal to 5 raised to the power of x. This is an example of an exponential function. You can also write it as y is equal to 5 raised to the power of x. So good job. So far so good. So let's proceed. So how about this last item? 3 multiplied to the quantity of 4 raised to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 48. This is an example of what? Is it an exponential function? Is it an equation or an inequality? Well, this is an example of an exponential equation indeed. Very good. That is correct. Exponential equation. Well, that's great. And this time, let's proceed to the last part of our session. At this part, we are going to have the activity. It's activity time. This is to assess your understanding for our lesson. The instruction for this activity is you're going to determine whether the given expression below is an exponential function, an equation, or an inequality. You can also answer none of these if the given does not qualify to be any of those mentioned. So I have five. I prepared five items for you to work on. You can work on it during your available time or any time of the day, and you can check your answer in our description box of this video. I'll give you time. Go ahead and pause the video. And remember this. These are the most important terms for this session. Exponential function with its definition and example. Same goes with the exponential equation and exponential inequality. All right, so that's it. And that ends our lesson for this video presentation. So good job, students. As always, and see you in the next lesson.